Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venomman20 here tonight, and the title was not clickbait. If all my calculations and all my talking to the experts is correct, we made history. So let's go ahead and get on into this video and show you a very deadly little viper. All venomous snake handling in this video is performed by a professional. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. So this video was not filmed right away after this happened. I've been wanting to tell you guys because I've been really excited, but I've also just postponed it a little bit just to make sure that the snakes are healthy. But if you remember my video, the extremely rare viper, first time ever being filmed or something like that, it was actually about Bothrops lanceolatus or the Martinique lance head. Uh, had the big female out on the table. Before that video was filmed, she actually gave us some little babies. And I can't take all the credit for breeding her, um, number one, because the male snake did it. But uh, no, I actually put the male together with her. Uh, I'm the one that pulled the babies. I did spray her during breeding season and everything to try to induce breeding. But number one, the male snake did everything. Number two, they're not my snakes. They're a good friend of mine's. But I'm super excited to be working with these. So I got on set a tank over here, one of the little tiny babies. They're all healthy, they're all eating. I wanted to make sure they were eating before I showed them off to you guys and then unfortunately something bad happened because sometimes little snakes can be very finicky. If you go back and check out the video, I'll put the link up here, over here. If you go back and check out that video, you will notice that she is extremely calm. She sits there nice, placid and beautiful and just chill. This snake's a baby. He doesn't know what I'm doing, so he might be a little crazy. So let's hope this goes well, because this is a very, very toxic viper. But continue watching this video, because this gets pretty interesting. I have some stuff to tell you that I think you'll like. I've got to replace that chair. Those squeaks are annoying. Got some tape on here, because being such a tiny little viper, he could almost get out, even though it's locked and latched. Just want to cover up every seam. I've got another camera angle, so hopefully we can get a good clear shot of this little tiny teeny bitty guy. He's actually getting big quick, which just is one of the biggest species of lance heads in the world. He does not like hooks. This is actually a female. I should stop calling it a male right now. Ooh. See what I mean? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm ditching the chair. Okay, here we go. I can't drop it. Stop. So this is an extremely rare viper. And what do I mean by extremely rare? There was five of these in the United States. They were originally imported out of Europe. But now there's quite a few more than five, which is pretty awesome. And why am I so excited for this extremely deadly little viper on the table? Well, number one, now we have a captive population of them. That's cool. Not only that, I'm actually going to be shipping or driving, not sure yet, these snakes down to a research facility that actually milks snakes for their venom. So this snake will be going to get milked for its venom to do medical research. They're going to find out if this snake holds the cure to cancer, holds the cure to diabetes, holds the cure to whatever, you know? I mean, I'm not that far into the science side of the venoms. I can't really tell you. I can tell you how this venom can mess you up, but I can't tell you how it can fix you. But they can, and that's what's exciting. So finally, I was able to breed something, or at least have a hand in breeding a snake that is actually going to go on for the betterment of humanity. And that's what it really comes down to. There's three things I'm passionate about. First and foremost, reptiles, animals, wildlife. You know that. Second of all, I'm passionate about conservation of the wildlife. That makes sense, right? But I think that without education, wildlife ain't gonna be around much longer. If we don't educate people why we need these snakes, really doesn't matter you know, what we do in the terms of saving the wild populations or whatever, it just isn't going to work out because the human population is exploding. And with that being said, if this snake does have the cure to cancer, if this snake does have the cure to whatever, you know, that would be a really easy selling point to 90% of the general public. It's like, yeah, but we have to have this super deadly viper if you want to live. You know, and uh, 
Venoms in the medical field are being used all the time. There's different enzymes that you can pick out because a lot of people think that venom goes through your body a lot like a freight train. I heard a famous herpetologist use this. Can't remember who it was, otherwise I give him credit. But he said a lot of people think that venoms go through the body like a freight train, but it's not true. Venoms go through the body with a very particular purpose. One protein out of the venom might go to lower the blood pressure. The other protein might go over to speed up the heart rate. The other protein might go over to slow down the cardiac, you know, the, uh, the ability to breathe. Your cardiac, you know what I'm trying to say, can't say it, <laughs> tongue tied, but uh, snake's got my tongue, I guess. Um, but all of these things put in together are a deadly combo. But all these things separate could be very useful. Like Bothrops jararaca su, or Bothrops jararaca, which is a very close cousin to this animal. Uh, I don't have the common name, the jararaca Bothrops lance head. Uh, I should know this, I don't, I'm drawing a blank, so I'm just gonna keep filming because I got this little guy out. But uh, he's actually, um, they use a protein out of the venom or an enzyme out of the venom for the high blood pressure medication. So if you know anybody on high blood pressure medication, this snake's very beneficial. But if this snake was to bite me, it would have very detrimental effects. Uh, major swelling, major tissue damage. Not only that, there's a good capability or good possibility that I could become blind. There's also a good possibility that I would have uh, uh, brain hemorrhages, massive brain hemorrhages all over my brain, just all over the place. This venom's very serious. This snake scares the crap out of me. Not this one because I can stay out of strike range pretty easily, but a big one, let's say this one at eight foot, because females can get eight foot, that's a scary animal. But at the same time, you're never going to come in contact with this snake. You know, if you're not on the Martinique Island and you're not reaching up into rocks and you're on the path you should be on, you're probably never going to come across this snake. To me, it's pretty dangerous. To you, on that side of the camera, you're fine. You know, I'm not trying to demonize this snake because this snake is amazing. So I don't want you to leave here with more of a fear. I want you to leave here with the respect. If you notice, he's trying to get away. This is a snake fully capable of killing me and he's scared. He's like, I don't, this dude's big. He is hairy. He looks like a Neanderthal. He's right, you know. If I was him, I'd be terrified of me too. He doesn't want to waste that venom. You know, if he bites me right now, I probably have an hour, I might have two hours, I might have three hours to live. Then that two hours, I'd kill him so quick. I wouldn't, but any other predator in the world would. So biting is not his best case of defense. His best case of defense is to get the hell out of here. Get as far away as he can, as fast as he can. Let's not be confrontational. <laughs> but just a beautiful little snake. So these snakes are actually sexually dimorphic, and I use this term a lot. What's that actually mean? The males look completely different from females, even at this size. So females get bigger, but you can just look at them side by side. I'll post the pictures here of the two snakes and they look completely different. Ugly pattern, brown, dark snake, male. Pretty pattern, nice, other looking lance head, female. So it was pretty cool seeing them as they came out and already knowing the sex ratio. So I'm so excited that you get to leave, even though I'm gonna miss you because you're gonna go on to do bigger and better things. You might not be excited because you're gonna get pinned and stuff and that's bad, but it helps us a lot and you're still gonna get a nice warm home with food and other snakes and all that. It's gonna have great care taken of them and I'm excited for that. So needless to say, the Venom Lab that's getting these knows a lot more about them than I do. So that's cool. But these guys are eating on little lizards and little frogs right now because they're picky and they don't like mice. So once they get switched over to mice, they will be leaving. Well, I'm just so excited. So out of asking all the real OGs in the reptile community, you know, or has these ever been bred in the United States? The answer that we've came up with is no. These have never been bred in the United States that we know of that's on record. No one's ever came out and said, I have bred these in the United States. You know, uh, like I said, I know that there's five animals that exist in the United States. Um, and this, I do believe, is the first breeding. So I'm so excited. You're so cool. <laughs> but uh, I might show you some more of these little guys eventually um, if I have them that long, but I might not have them that long. Uh, hopefully, if everything goes right, she'll breed again next year, and that'd be really cool. 
Um, you know, they're not going to be really going out into the private sector. They're going to be used for venom research or, you know, just keeping them for future projects. But it is pretty exciting that I get to work with such an amazing animal. But if you like this, there's a lot of other crazy venomous snakes I'm going to be showing you here very shortly. So I do hope that you'll subscribe, show all your friends. I hope you're as excited as I am because this is an awesome animal. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful night and uh, see you soon.